one live. All right, you guys, this is a big mare. She is off the track. She had 22 starts. She lit the board two times. So she is a good mare, but she is not a very aggressive racy type mare. The note did say that she came off the track guaranteed sound and she never ran fast enough to hurt herself is actually what the note says. <laughs> I laughed at that. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> so this is, um, come here, bear. He's stupid. Run him over. Come on, bear. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean? She has beautiful, 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 beautiful trot and lope. Um, again, the note did say came off the track sound, never ran fast enough to hurt herself, 22 starts, two thirds. Her name is Go My Juliet, and this is her first ride off the track, and she's in a stock saddle. She's had no buck. Ooh, nice. Beautiful. Yes, ma'am. She's a big mare. She's probably 16-1. Dara is 5'9", so Dara is not a not a widow person as far as height-wise. She's 5'9", and this mare has got a really good, good way of moving and a big presence. Nice. Honestly, so nice. So nice. Alright you guys, this is Go My Juliet. She's over 16 hands tall. She's five years old. She ran twice. I believe twice this year already in 2022. So um Jess hit that spot a couple times and it is like a drop right there. We need to see. I don't think she can hear me. We need to get the disc and go back and forth because Jess hit that same spot coming this way. And did that mare like there's one, I've noticed, there's one there and there's one right right here. And it's like, it's like it goes straight down and straight back up. And it's just deep enough and they can't freaking see it. Yeah. So it's like they fall off in it. I don't know if you guys can see. No, no, no. It's, I'm not bitching. I am bitching. I don't know. I can see it, but I'm also a human and my depth and perception is different. But it's right here. And it's right there. And there's, there's only two of them. But I'm saying for the ground, we only have two spots in this whole thing like that. Right here's a little slick because it held moisture. It shouldn't have because we need to get the last of the grass roots out of it. But, yeah. Will you take her to the right? Thank you. She has a beautiful, like, she's got a lot of hawk action. I like her. She's got a lot of, she's smooth, isn't she? She looks like a freaking dream. Yeah, she, I mean, this is her first ride off the track. And I think she's actually ran twice this calendar year. So she's technically still, I mean, ah, that's the racehorse in her. She's like, left lead. There you go. Dara's getting better. Both my girls are getting better about their leads. We're just getting better about our leads. It's all right. A couple of little circles and then she said. She's super soft. I mean, she's really trying to be super soft in Dara's hands. Like, I've noticed every time Dara kind of gets her, she'll elevate a little bit. Nothing a martingale can't kind of just sort out. She hasn't, she doesn't know. And a lot of thoroughbreds come off the track and they run obviously to the left. And a lot of people just gallop them to the left and they never do much backtracking and make them kind of go to the right. So these horses have to learn to be comfortable on the right lead. But that's just something that any English trainer in the world could have her doing in one day. You can tell she wasn't trained by somebody that had a lot of knowledge because she doesn't break at the pole like she should. You know, she wants to be a, yep, she wants to be a little bit. Most thoroughbreds that come off the track from a great facility do have, a, they break at the pole a little better than that. And this, and they also pick up both leads. You can always tell when, not that a backyard trainer had her, but I'll say what I said. <laughs> Good job, Dara. Good job. Good job. Look at that. 
And honestly, she's carrying that lead extremely comfortable and just really trying to be fluid that direction. Dara. <clears throat> hey, Dara. Will you trot her through the barrels? Just trot her through the barrels. Let me show you guys something that I really like about thoroughbreds. And this is something that I think is the most slept on thing in the world for you guys that don't want to go buy finished barrel horses. You want to kind of train one yourself. These thoroughbreds are so naturally rear endy. This is a very big thoroughbred. And when Dara trots her through the barrels, one thing I've noticed about these thoroughbreds is they just all are very naturally rear ended animals, which is why I think polo players love them so much. They just have a really neat way of just kind of being able to utilize themselves. I'm, I'm serious. I have said this over and over again. Thoroughbreds almost use themselves naturally better than most quarter horses. And what I love about her is this mare has so much patience and she's just really trying to do what Dara says. And I love that. It makes me know that if somebody were to get her regardless of what you're wanting to do you can bring her out here and play with her and look she's just trying so hard she's like okay turn to the right okay never ever been off the track I mean ran two times this calendar year already nice look at her she's just wanting to do anything you ask whatever you ask is her for perfect and just super willing I would say I'd probably have her teeth floated um, when you got her home and then just work a little bit on just a little bit more flexion in the rib and of course trying to get that head set down a little bit. But those are things that just come with really soft hands and um, Dara has good hands. She just needs somebody to be a little more patient. But can you imagine racing this? Can you imagine whoever trained her had no more knowledge than that? Like, no wonder she never freaking won. She let the board two times out of 22 starts. Well, probably because the whole time she's been galloping around like a goose. I trained racehorses. I get to have these opinions. Nice. She put that hip right back in there. I do think that we can definitely float this mare's teeth and I would even probably ground drive her a little bit if she like if she would have come into my barn and we took her to the track and galloped her like that I would have been like back to the round pin with your five-year-old ass but it would have just been to teach her to just give a little bit more to pressure because every time Dara takes a little bit that mare wants to just um r escape the pressure by going in the air with her mouth and that's just from not being taught correctly and it makes you can you imagine being the poor jockey up there? Like, she's a great mare, thank God. But, like, she's no broker than she is in the face. You know, it was a little sketchy. Can you imagine going around full blast in something that cannot give to pressure? Look at that hind end movement, though. Like, that hind end movement is something. Can you imagine trying to race on something that every time you got their mouth, they just escaped from you? They were like, no! Nah! But I can tell you. That this is something that an O-ring and a German Martingale and just a few days. Whole new animal. <laughs> uh, let me see. Two seconds. She is so smart and she's so smooth. Let me see, Mama. Are your teethies bad? Nope. They're not... They're not, I mean, they haven't probably been done in a year, but they've been done. So I'm not going to blame her teeth. Somebody has floated them. And it feels like a job that William did because she has a bit seat. I bet William Shake Snyder did them. William did all my racehorses. And you only stick your thumb in so many horses' mouths that the same dentist did for years before you're like, I know who did these teeth. So I will give her that. She does have her teeth done. I won't say they've been done super recent, but they're done enough that she just needs. But you know what that does mean? There's no excuse not to go right on with her with a martingale. Just an O-ring and a martingale and she'll... Because right there, I mean, she just doesn't know. She has no break at the pole. What she does have is brains and hearts. So. She has tons of brains. That's a big... And a t her movement is gorgeous. Honestly, I mean, her movement is beautiful. Like, she, 
you know, as soon as she starts to break at the pole and she's st not so hollow in the back and she starts to kind of round out in the ribs, like, yes, ma'am, I'm okay with everything that's, this is like A++ foundation is what this is. All right. She is. All right, you guys, she'll be on the website in about 0.2 seconds. I'm going to get some photos of her, and Heather will have her on the website. And don't forget that you can use code HORSEHERO, all one word, all lowercase. We have a 20% off sale, and I believe my husband did extend it through today. Goodbye. She is so nice. I like everything about her. Where's the pad like that with the purple? We need to find it. It should be in there. It's the one dress uses too. All right. Nice, Mama. All right, on to the next one.